Today we're going to take a look at three of the most common types of insulation, cellulose, fiberglass, and spray foam. I'm going to discuss the importance of air infiltration, air control, and also talk about the myth that more R value is better. First, let's go ahead and take a look at this demonstration box in front of us. It's commonly referred to as the hot box. In it, we see a lower chamber with a heated blower that's producing a steady supply of hot air which rises up through each of the three chambers. And in those chambers we see cellulose in the first chamber which has an R value of approximately 26. In the second chamber we have closed cell spray foam insulation with an R value of approximately 13. And in the last chamber we have fiberglass insulation with an approximate R value of 26. And then in each chamber we also see a thermometer which is there to measure the temperature of the air in each thermometer. And finally, above that, we have three small tubes with ping pong balls located in each, which demonstrate the airflow through each chamber. It's quite easy to see how inefficient both cellulose and fiberglass are at stopping the air from penetrating through and into the ping pong ball chamber, as demonstrated with both ping pong balls rising to the top of the chamber in the cellulose and fiberglass insulated areas. In the middle chamber, we see that closed cell spray foam insulation is blocking all of the air infiltration as proven by the ping pong ball remaining at rest. Now, as we move a little closer to each of the three chambers, we can take a look at how to disprove the myth that more R value is better. As we come up close here on this cellulose insulation, we can see that in the chamber currently the temperature is approximately 120 degrees Fahrenheit and this again is with an R value of 26. Now as we move over to the closed cell spray foam insulation chamber we see the temperature of approximately 80 degrees. This is once again with an R value of only 13 and then on to the final chamber which is the fiberglass insulation we again see a temperature of above 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And this again is with an R value of 26. So this quickly and easily proves that the more R value in your walls is not going to result in better insulation. If you're not controlling the airflow coming into your home, then more R value is not going to matter. You have to control that airflow. So as a result, I would hope that this video provides a, a clear example as to why anytime you insulate your home, if it is an option, always choose spray foam insulation if you're looking for maximum comfort, energy efficiency, and savings.